Hi, my name is Yaroslav, and if you found this screencast on the internet and you're not aware of my blog, be sure to visit uh, sharemuch.com uh, and uh, click on screencasts uh, to see other videos which are potentially related to what you're working on. Also, if you're working on branding and found this particular screencast uh, useful, be sure to check out my new book titled uh, SharePoint 2010 Branding and Practice, uh, where there's plenty of, uh, of scenarios like the one that we're talking about here. In this episode of SharePoint 2010 Branding, I'll demonstrate how you can create your custom SharePoint 2010 themes. So as you may have seen in SharePoint Portal, when you navigate to the settings of your site and uh, click on Site Theme, you will see a variety of out-of-the-box themes available. So um, all you need to do here is select a theme uh, different from default and you can modify some of the um, settings here such as fonts and colors and then you can preview the theme and set the theme on the site. So in this episode, we're gonna take a look at how you can deploy your custom theme uh, manually and using a Visual Studio. So uh, first, let's take a look at what, where all of the themes are located on the SharePoint site. So if we go back to the site settings under galleries, uh, we'll, be able to, we'll be able to access all of our themes or theme gallery and uh, in this gallery, there is uh, quite a bit of themes that you've seen in the uh, site theme settings. So if we're going to download one of the themes here, uh, let's take a look at what that theme file is all about. So I'm going to download that theme file and copy it to the machine where I have uh, Office installed, Office 2010 installed. When I open the file, it actually opens PowerPoint. And what I can do here when I access the uh, slide master in PowerPoint, I can actually change the fonts and colors of the theme um, to match my own settings that I want to give uh, to my theme. So I'm going to change the font here and pick a different color to demonstrate um, how that will be applied to the site. And once you're ready, you can just save the theme right from here, give it a new name, and save it to the file system. And in my case, I'm just going to close my PowerPoint and upload the, the new theme back to the server. So there's my theme one and I'm just going to drop it manually to the theme gallery. Pick it from the file system. I'm not going to change the name, just leave it as is. And uh, there it is, it's uploaded. Let's take a look if we can actually use it. Uh, so I'm going to go back to my site theme settings and try to activate my uh, theme one and see how it's if it's actually showing up with the settings that I gave it. So this is how we activate the theme or preview the theme manually. And sure enough it works. So now let's take a look at how we could uh, do the same thing or deploy the theme using Visual Studio. So I'm using the same project uh, I've used in the last demo uh, where we uploaded the master page in CSS. Uh, I'm going to add additional module to this, uh, to this project. And uh, keep in mind that this is a sandbox solution project. And uh, I'm going to add a new module, which is going to be module responsible for my themes. I'm going to give it a name, Themes, and it'll create a sample file for me. I'm just going to replace that file with my actual theme, and in a moment I'll also declare where the theme is going to be provisioned. So there's my theme, and I'm just going to copy the provisioning part or declaration from my master page provisioning. I'm just going to change a couple of attributes here. So one of the attributes I'm going to change is the URL where the theme is deployed, and that's inside my theme gallery. So I'm going to copy that URL into my module declaration. I'm going to change a couple of attributes, such as uh, module name and as well as the path to my theme locally in the solution um, to themes. This is going to be called uh, theme1, thmx. And the URL of the destination is also theme1thmx. I'm going to delete some of the properties that are they don't apply here. And I'm going to change the title of this one to Yaroslav's theme. So first, before I run this, I'm going to delete the theme that I uploaded manually here. Um, 
15, 1. There it is. I'm going to delete it and then run the theme installation for myself. So I'm going to run the solution deployment. But before doing that, I'll uh, access my um, my feature that deploys all of all of the existing artifacts, such as master pages and uh, CSS, and I'm going to add theme module as well. You'll notice there is another feature here called set style, and that feature has a receiver. Remember, in the last uh, episode, we looked at how we could set the actual master page and CSS to the side. So in this case, we could also uh, set the theme if we wanted to. But in this case, we'll just take a look at how we can. Uh, upload the artifacts themselves. So I'm going to deploy the solution and by deploying the solution I should get my provision master and CSS feature activated and uh, my theme should be deployed to the theme gallery. So uh, there's my solution has been added to the server and activated, deploy succeeded. I'll go back to my theme gallery and there's my theme. So quick and simple, hopefully that demonstrates how you can add themes programmatically using a sandbox solutions to your cloud provider. And um, if, again, if you wanted to add additional um, functionality of actually theme being set uh, on, on, on this solution being installed, you would add additional code inside the, in, in this case, set style feature.